Recently, the iconic aircraft, the Queen of the Skies, returned surprisingly to London's Heathrow Airport on March 26, 2024, after eight months of absence. Why does this legendary aircraft attract attention once again? Could this signal a massive comeback? Let's find out in today's episode. There is a rare sight appeared at London's Heathrow Airport on March 26, 2024. A Boeing 747-400 passenger aircraft. This was not a routine flight. It was the first flight after eight months that Heathrow welcomed the Queen of the Skies with passengers on board. Only four airlines still operate these aircraft for passengers. A 747 operated by Lufthansa landed at Heathrow from Miami. This was surprising as the flight was originally scheduled to arrive in Frankfurt. The aircraft had to divert due to an emergency on board while crossing the Atlantic. Initially, the crew intended to land in Dublin, but changed their plan and safely landed at Heathrow. After landing, it stayed at Heathrow for two hours before continuing its journey to Frankfurt. What is the current situation of this large aircraft? Lufthansa remains committed to operating these aircraft at least until the mid-2020 ISIS, though there are still concerns about their role in the future. Back on March 20th, 20, just before the COVID-19 lockdowns, Heathrow had scheduled 1,242 round-trip flights for the 747. For example, British Airways used to operate this aircraft at New York's JFK airport up to six times a day. However, the airline retired its entire 747 fleet in October of that year, marking the end with a memorable final flight. Now, with recent appearances at Heathrow, the question is about the potential comeback of the Queen of the Skies. Despite its commercial decline, this aircraft remains beloved among passengers and pilots. Many appreciate its spaciousness, which allows airlines to renew with new services and seat classes. What factors do you think could lead to a potential return for this iconic aircraft? But before we discuss the solutions, let's summarize the Boeing 747's fascinating history. In 1963, the U.S. Air Force began researching a large transport aircraft. Despite the introduction of the C-141 Starlifter, officials saw a need for a larger aircraft for oversized cargo. This led to the CX Heavy Logistics System requirements on March 19, 64, calling for an aircraft capable of carrying 180,000 pounds of cargo over 5,000 nautical miles at Mach 0.75. To meet these requirements with only four engines, Highly fuel-efficient engines were needed. Boeing, Douglas, and Lockheed submitted aircraft proposals while General Electric, Curtis Wright, and Pratt and Whitney proposed engines. Boeing, Douglas, and Lockheed were selected for further development with Boeing incorporating ideas from the military C-5 Galaxy into the 747 design. The concept of a large commercial aircraft like it appeared during the jet age boom of the 1960 driven by the success of the Boeing 707 and Douglas DC-8. One trip, founder of Pan Am, envisioned a jet that could carry more passengers at a lower cost per mile, reducing airport congestion. Boeing responded with the Queen of the Skies, designed for passengers and adaptable for cargo. Pan Am's order for 25 Boeing 747-100 on April 19, 66, secured the aircraft's future and marked it as a major player in global aviation. This early commitment allowed Pan Am to significantly influence the aircraft's development. Initially, it was designed with a double-deck fuselage, but the final design of this aircraft features a unique hump on the upper deck that houses the cockpit. This allows for a nose-loading door for cargo, a distinctive feature that sets it apart. After debuting with Pan Am in 1970, other airlines quickly followed suit, purchasing and deploying their 747 to compete. Initially, Many airlines were attracted to this huge aircraft, not just for its cargo capacity, but also for its excellent long-range capabilities. However, Boeing claimed that half of the initial orders came from airlines more interested in its range than its payload capacity. If you've watched this far, thank you. Your support helps this video reach more aviation enthusiasts, so if you can please like, share the video, and subscribe if you're new here. From a long history, why say that this huge aircraft still has a future? The 747's fame comes from its unique combination of size, capability, and performance. It can carry a large number of passengers and has an impressive range connecting major cities globally. Its spacious cargo hold and efficient loading set new standards for air freight. The two-deck design provides ample space and allows airlines to change cabin layouts. Despite changes in aviation, the Boeing aircraft remains an icon of a golden age when long-haul flights became more popular and accessible, 
symbolizing the remarkable advancement of global aviation. 747 was key in popularizing the hub and spoke model of air travel, where passengers connect through central hubs. Do you think this model is still relevant today? As preferences shifted to nonstop flights, it faced challenges due to its less fuel efficient four engine design compared to newer twin engine planes. This contributed to its decline among airlines aiming to cut costs and meet environmental regulations. Airlines responded by increasing passenger capacity at the expense of luxury, which damaged the Queen's image. Its high fuel consumption, noise, and carbon emissions also diminished its appeal. However, it still has some hope. While Boeing ended the passenger variant in December 20th, 22, the aircraft still serves as a cargo plane and for some governments. Its story might continue as Boeing has revived old designs before, like the 737 MAX. The company is exploring the 7X program, which could potentially bring the Queen back. The Everett facility, originally for this aircraft, remains operational and could aid in future developments. Upgrading the 747 would require significant changes to enhance fuel efficiency, starting with reducing the number of engines from 4 to 2. This would involve installing more powerful modern engines capable of efficiently powering such a large aircraft. Boeing might also need to modify the fuselage to improve aerodynamics, reduce weight, and enhance handling for better efficiency. A potential market could be airlines like Emirates, which still operate extensive hub and spoke networks. For these airlines, an upgraded 747 with new twin engine technology could be a useful alternative to their current fleet strategies. Do you think Boeing should invest in reviving this aircraft with modern engine and aerodynamic improvements, or focus on developing entirely new aircraft models? Despite its advantages, the aircraft had specific economic challenges. It achieved the lowest operating cost per seat when fully loaded. However, costs increased sharply when occupancy levels dropped. For example, a 747 with only 70% of its seats filled used nearly as much fuel as a fully loaded one. Despite these drawbacks, many national airlines purchased it for prestige, even when it wasn't always the most economical choice. In the 1970s and 1980, major airports like JFK often had over 30 flying regularly. However, the economic recessions of 1969 and 1970 and the 1973 oil crisis significantly affected Boeing, with only 27 sold in the year and a half after September 1970. As economic challenges continued, some airlines struggled to operate the 747 profitably and began replacing them with smaller, more fuel-efficient aircraft like the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, Lockheed L-1011, TriStar, Boeing 767, and Airbus A310. American Airlines tried converting some Boeing huge aircraft into piano bars to attract passengers, but eventually used them for cargo. In 1983, American Airlines traded its remaining aircraft to Pan Am for smaller aircraft. Finally, its enormous size created challenges. Airports had to modify or expand their infrastructure to accommodate the size of the aircraft, including wider runways and larger gates. Boeing itself had to build the massive Everett facility which remains the largest building in the world by volume, to produce and assemble the aircraft. The Boeing 747 revolutionized commercial aviation by making long-haul flights more accessible and economical, transforming global travel. Its design catered to both passengers and cargo, setting new standards for air freight. Its impressive size often led to a love-at-first-sight reaction from pilots and passengers. Initially planned for 400 units, its success led to over 1,500 being built, marking it as a significant milestone in aviation history. The significance of the Boeing 747's impact on aviation cannot be ignored. Basically, it changed how people and cargo move globally. Its design innovations paved the way for future aircraft, influencing both commercial and cargo aviation. Although its commercial use has declined, the legacy of this aircraft endures, with its contributions to aviation history celebrated by enthusiasts and professionals alike. As we reflect on the future of this huge aircraft, it's important to recognize its enduring appeal and the potential opportunities ahead. The challenges in modernizing this aircraft are significant, requiring technological advancements and substantial financial investment. However, the potential benefits of an updated 747 could make it a viable option for airlines seeking a balance between capacity and efficiency. Thank you for watching and feel free to share your thoughts. Your participation makes the discussion about this legendary aircraft more lively. If you have any memories or experiences with the 747, 
please share them in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks, and see you next time.